For hundreds of years, the land around Calaver Rock has been worked on to remove the water from it. And now, with support from the Nature Restoration Fund, the WWT are encouraging the ground to be as wet as possible to help restore the natural landscape. My name's Dave Pickett. I'm the site manager here for WWT Calaver Rock. We're very lucky we've received support from the Nature Restoration Fund to try and restore habitats and bring nature back into parts of the reserve. We want to increase the biodiversity of the site. Um, we want to hold more wildlife on here. It's a matter of trying to slow down that flow of water where previously they were trying to rush it off and we want to hold it on the land as long as possible. If we can bring the water table up and slow down the flow of water, then that's a big improvement and holds more wildlife. We're starting to see that happen for some rare species, but also some common species as well. A few weeks ago, we came out with torches to see if we could catch some snipe and woodcock to ring them. And we weren't sure what we were gonna find. And we came out and at night, these fields are just, they've got loads of these birds using it as a feeding area. Uh, so that was really exciting to see um, an immediate effect of, of wildlife actually using the wetlands. We've been creating pools um, for natterjack toads uh, and they're, they're a, a very rare species in Scotland. What we hope to see this spring is toads using those almost immediately. One of the things the Nature Restoration Fund has allowed us to do is to restructure the land. It's not just getting in a digger and, and making the place wetter. We've been able to tackle some of the boundary issues that we've got here. So by March 2026, we're expecting the site to be looking very different and to be really well set up for managing for nature. We manage the site really in partnership with some of the local farmers and they have to modify some of their requirements a bit and we have to modify our, some of our requirements so it's a real compromise to be able to get the management that we want on site. What we're aiming for on this site is to actually fill a gap in habitat transition. If you go back thousands of years there would have been a transition from mud flats to salt marsh to sort of wet grassland and lag fen to lowland raised bog and that's been broken through um, sort of man's intervention. Being able to take part in the Nature Restoration Fund, it just enabled us to fill those gaps, joining all of those habitats up. What would be fantastic is to come back here in 10, 15 years time and see that sort of much more wildlife rich transition through habitats across the landscape.